Welcome back guys, today's episode is going to be a little bit different because it's not an in-depth review but more like a user experience sharing. Recently I have a project that requires Stroop, therefore I do some research on which Stroop should I buy and I found out this AD600BM is the best level of functionality for the price. Before we talk about how awesome this stroke can be, let's address the not so awesome bits of this stroke. First, the weight. This stroke is not light at all. It's almost 2.7 kg, including the battery itself, before we put on any modifier on that bobber mount. When we put on a soft box or a light dome on that bobber mount, it's gonna be front heavy. That lead to the second not so awesome about this stroke, the design. Of course, what can we complain more? This is an old design. Godox have a newer version of this light, AD600 Pro TTL. That thing, they have a handle under the body itself. So when you do any tilt and pan, at least there is something to grab on. And the last thing that I don't like about this light is the yoke. Every time you turn that yoke, it almost feels like you drive straight into that body and there is no credit for your fingers. Let the unpresent stay where they are. Before we move on to the good stuff, there's one thing that's hanging in the limbo. TTL. As the name suggests, Eddy 600 bm the N stands for manual. Godox does have the TTL version for you to choose, but that one definitely gonna cost you more. This troop is designed for studio and outdoor shooting, not exactly the first choice of the run and gun event kind of shooting. To manual control the light is all we need, right? Left the TTL behind, let's move on to the good stuff of this Eddy 600 bm First, the price. I'm not sure how it costs in your country, but in Malaysia, this troop costs the same as the Eddy 300 Pro. 300, 600, 300 watts versus 600 watt. Same price but double the power. And of course, they are both running on battery power. That leads to the second good thing about this troop, battery. So happened, we have this SLB60W. They both share the same type of the battery and this is a continuous lighting. Back then, this is the only battery power COB but now with so many options in the market, nothing worth mention. However, this battery can power this at full blast for one hour. And this same battery on the ad 600 bm can last for 500 full power fresh. Basically mean full day battery. I never run out of juice during my shooting. And the last good thing about the stroke have to be the high speed sync. Gotta have a version of transmitter for pretty much every camera brand. Like my one here is a transmitter for Fuji. When you get the correct transmitter, you get to access to the functionality of high speed sync. And one thing I like about the transmitter is when I push the shutter over the native flashing speed, it will toggle the strobe to the high speed sync mode. That way, I don't need to worry I will get unexpected bending in my photo. It will always get fresh. And about the output power of the high speed sync, we measure it using the light meter. It's only one stop darker compared with the fresh without high speed sync. Alright, enough talking on the paper. Now I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of my project shooting with my friend, Renal Muratis Kenji Chai with the GFX100 and two of the AD600 BM. One of them is borrowed for my friend. Alright, that's all for this episode. If you like more content just like this, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. Yes, I do need more subscribers to keep this channel alive. And if you have any questions about the AD600BM, do comment below, let me know. See you in the next video.